prodigy made a name for himself in the land of his father when he toured nationally around Korea with violinist Yong Jae O'Neill last month. Currently a student at the Frankfurt University of Music and Performing Arts, he studies under the tutelage of Russian pianist Lev Natuchenny. Recently, he completed his first solo recital in Korea after the release of his debut album, Russian Transcription. Let's meet the piano prodigy, Christopher Carr. Hello and welcome to Heart to Heart. I'm Colleen Park. Uh, this 23-year-old pianist was acclaimed by a world-renowned producer as a musician with a rare ability to understand music quickly and a master storyteller of music. Please welcome pianist Christopher Park. Welcome. Thank you welcome. very much. Um, you, uh, of course, don't look like a Park, a normal Park. <laughs> Your father's Korean. Yeah, I'm half Korean, half German. And, and your yeah. mother's German. Yeah. Interesting combination. Very similar to my combination. <laughs> well, what do you think about these reviews? Well, it's, of course, very honoring to get such rev reviews from great um, producers like Christopher Alder, I think mm. it comes from. Yeah, and um, it gives you a certain um, hope and a feeling good and power uh, to believe in you. and. Uh, sometimes you really need this uh, as an artist because mm. it's not an easy way of life, of course. Yeah. yeah, I'm very happy about that, of course. A uh, lot of pressure, though. Yeah, of course, a lot of pressure. Uh, many people who want to be great concert pianists, no question about. And uh, these days of competition, it's very difficult, of course. Mm, all mm. right. Well, um, as, as we were stating, your father is Korean, your mother is German, and you just completed your first solo recital here in your father's homeland. How was it? Well, it's an extraordinary experience, of course. I mean, it's the uh, biggest luck for me to have the chance to be in Korea, because mm. this is a, a dream of mine anyway. Why? Just Why? to be in Korea, because I'm half Korean. Mm, and okay. I, ha I have never been to Korea, so I was uh, very excited. And it's a great experience because the uh, audience is a uh, very, very nice, very attentive, uh, very enthusiastic, mm. very different from the German, I must say, <laughs> <laughs> and very young also. Mm. And so this is a very, uh, really a great joy and pleasure to play for them. And how different are the German audiences? Well, first of all, if you um, go in a concert in Germany, people are quite old. So if I go to a concert in Germany, I might be the only one who is under uh, 30, <laughs> and so the rest is uh, 60 and up, mm -hmm. upgoing. So this was very refreshing, actually, mm -hmm. to give a concert here, and so all these mm, very young faces, mm -hmm. very uh, good. So I think here the classical music and market has really a good future. Mm. They're very responsive. I, I hear yeah. that all the time. And we, uh, Korea generally has a very young audience crowd in all you know musicals, opera, everywhere. So. We always hear that. It's interesting. All right. Well, you performed pieces that were on your debut album uh, for the recital. And can you tell us a little bit about what, what you played? Yeah. Yeah, partly it's uh, from the debut album. So I played uh, Russian transcriptions. For example, uh, of course, Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet, mm. the very famous, maybe the most famous love story. And uh, then some uh, pieces from Rachmaninoff, uh, Love's Joy and Daisy is also a love song. And then uh, Petrushka from Stravinsky. Stravinsky. Yeah, it's also kind of a love story. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in love? <laughs> it's, it's spring. Well, <laughs> so it's spring, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, why, um, why all these difficult pieces? Well, on the one hand, I record it and play uh, those difficult pieces because um, they are very colorful and interesting especially for musical, uh, musically adapted people, adapt. And uh, the other hand, it was very important to me to show that, for example, in Petrushka, everybody thinks about, oh, that's the most uh, difficult piece existing in the world. And so everybody plays it like, I don't know, an etude or, mm. or um, a racing piece. I don't know what, <laughs> what you play in a competition, yeah, like yeah. a racing horse. <laughs> as fast as possible and, and I wanted to show the music behind it. I mean, 
many people play it very mechanically, what is of course um, true for a certain part because the main character is a doll, a mechanic doll, artificial doll, and so it has to sound a little bit, I don't know, wooden and mm -hmm. mechanic. But on the other hand, this doll has uh, the most powerful human uh, emotion, mm -hmm. the love. Uh, this doll, Petrushka, um, felt in love. And so it's a very uh, interesting thing about that to um, show the audience this contrast between uh, the artificial doll who is feeling love. Mm. Mm. And so there are hidden so many beautiful uh, musical and lyrical um, passages that uh, is rarely um, uh, listenable. Uh, um, nobody plays it like that, or nearly nobody. Mm. So mm -hmm. I wanted to show that, uh, really that. And there are many hidden Russian folk tunes between the lines. Mm. It's very interesting to discover them, mm -hmm. to bring them out, mm -hmm. to show them. And not all these octaves and huge jumps and <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> so it's not a show piece at all. It yeah. should not be. Well, you compared it well to the horse uh, racing competition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, curious, um, I may not be the only person to ask you this question, uh, but you seem very mature musically for being 23 years old. Well, uh, thank you <laughs> for thinking <laughs> that. I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking a lot about music. And uh, when I was a child, I... I oh, I was maybe a little bit a uh, strange child because I used to go to very silent and peaceful p places and having a lot of thoughts and so I uh, was a very thoughtful kid. Mm. <laughs> Are you an only and child? No, I have a brother, a little mm, brother. Okay. And uh, no, I just think um, there's a certain responsibility to the composers you have mm. as an interpreter, as a pianist. And you shouldn't play it um, easy like it's um, okay, just play it and that's okay. You should have really uh, feel some responsibility and know that you will express uh, the emotion and the idea of a genius, mm. of a century genius. So this is very important. I you think. were just being true to what you understood in the music. Yeah, of you course. You weren't thinking first. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, you also worked um, on Richard Youngje O'Neill's um, fifth album with him last year. How was yeah. that? Oh, it was a great experience, of course. And Richard Young J. O'Neill, he is uh, truly one of the greatest mus musicians I ever uh, met. Mm. And it was a great joy and pleasure and honor to play with him. And you both were in a small village in Germany? Yeah. Um. yeah actually, at first we met in my uh, hometown in Frankfurt. And we had a few days to get to know each other. And so uh, we started playing. And there was a immediately a bond between us. Mm. So we, we sit, I sit on the piano and he uh, played and we were understanding each other immediately. Mm. And um, this is uh, very rare, I think. And it feels so comfortable because he is always listening to you and he responds when you say something on the piano, he responds and he reacts. He's very flexible in mm. that. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it, it's very difficult to find a partner in anything, even a yeah. husband or a wife. It's difficult <laughs> to find. Might be the most difficult, yeah. But um, <laughs> to find uh, musicians that you connect with and have similar views, that's, that's wonderful. Well, you recently finished your solo recital here in Korea, um, but your performance with Yongje O'Neill uh, in Korea was your first public collaboration. Yeah, yeah. right. Very exceptional experience again. Mm. The first time I was... Uh, my, my my first concert, so to say, in in, uh, in Korea was with Jungte. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. I think there's no better person to introduce uh, me to the uh, Korean audience than mm. Jungte because uh, he is probably the most famous musician in Korea, a classical musician. And um, so I was welcomed very warmly, very friendly by the people. And we had some great concerts. Unfortunately, we, uh, we gave our last concert last Sunday, mm -hmm. so uh, I was very sad. It was a very emotional concert, and but we enjoyed every tone. Korea is not going anywhere. You can return. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I <laughs> hope so. <laughs> All right. Well, the heart to heart cameras went out to um, film the collaboration between Yongje O'Neill and uh, Christopher Park. So we'll take a look. 